this, just here and there. And today I was working on even more. I have three cameras, a screen share, and I also have the iPhone set up that I can actually grab and move around. But th this is super powerful. And uh, if you're really serious about live streaming on YouTube and you want to take it up a, like a few notches, I mean, not just, you know, having your iPhone there, which I've done for many years, I'm kind of like ready to do multi angles, multi cameras, different things, uh, audio. You can check out the list of all of the stuff that I have is right here at worshipbandbuilder.com slash gear, okay? Also, you can see this little donate button right here, and uh, I can put this on OBS as well. But you can donate at worshipthekingcom slash partner. So if you really love this and you're like, dude, this is amazing, and you want to be a part of this, you can drop any kind of monthly support on there. Everything helps. Um, so guys, basically, uh, I'm using OBS to do this live stream. I'm streaming to six platforms right now. I hit one button, go to six platforms. Okay, I can also like with one button share my screen with you. I can uh, mix in different uh, cameras. I have this angle, that angle, and this angle. What is that one? Oh, that one's over here. So I need to switch the buttons. So I can go to this camera. Okay, I can go to this camera over there, and I can go straight on to this camera. This thing is so easy. I can do that and you don't even know that I'm really doing it. It's like, oh, I'm on another, another camera. I can do live production for myself right here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my phone right now because OBS will allow you to use your iPhone as a webcam. Now, I did a video on this before. So you plug this in and OBS will do that. So now I can show you exactly with my thing. I have the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, which I, I can't even say everything. Oh, let me get rid of this. Yeah, I got to turn the sound off of the iPhone. So yeah, make sure you turn your sound off if you're going to do this. Um, but I have the ATEM. Um, hopefully that iPhone wasn't on there the whole time going blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so here's the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, okay? And if you look over here at my screen, uh, you can see that any, any input you put in that audio came through. And it kind of burned me one time I was doing a video and it was actually two audios were happening. So I can control all of my camera angles with this little thing right here, okay? Now, when I hit these, when I'm using a, the ATEM, I've got my cam one of the cameras here, and I've got the actual setup here, so you can actually see what camera angles are going there. I've got my Sony camera there, second monitor for my computer here, lights back there, a top, uh, I'm using overhead mics right here on these, and then I've got these, basically these very inexpensive, okay, HD, uh, Sony uh, camcorders. Okay, so I didn't have to go back and spend a whole bunch of money on a whole bunch of really super expensive cameras. I got these cameras for really cheap on eBay. These Sony cameras for like 40 bucks or 100 bucks, and check them out. I mean, they look, they don't look as good as the, as the, uh, maybe as the Sony does, but the Sony costs like $600. So um, I'm just kind of taking this slowly doing what I can do. All right, so I've got the main camera, it looks pretty good, but then you can kind of match up the thing and you got the other cameras there, okay? So uh, this th that's pretty much the setup. And then for audio, let me show you what I do for audio. Audio is the, a big deal for me because I'm a musician, I'm gonna be playing guitar, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get rid of this table. A lot of this is for when we're doing our, our podcast and our, um, we're doing our podcast live through video, so now we can have multiple angles. And, but a lot of this, uh, the, the exciting part for a musician is you can actually run this whole mixing board into the A10 Mini Pro, and that's what you're hearing the sound through. So this is, so I'm gonna switch over to the OBS camera, and this is the uh, mixer, and I only have one mic right now going in there. Okay, so it's one, one microphone. It's not gonna be that exciting, uh, but if I wanted to have a guitar, a loop, a pad, anything else, I could put those all in there and then that audio goes straight over to the back of the a uh, ATEM, ATEM Mini Pro, okay? Also, I got this little um, awesome little thing on eBay. Somebody printed this 3D printer, which gets this thing off the ground because this thing gets really hot, supposedly, and it, I mean it does. It feels hot. So I got that off the ground. So part of the, part of the important part of the setup here is having dual monitors because you can't show your other screen. So if I want to show you my screen, I can click this button and now I can you can see my screen over here. But you have to have dual monitors to do this in OBS. If not, you get this you get this um you get this big death, you know, spiral going through. So um so you're still watching, you're probably interested, I'll run down. I'm running OBS right here on this computer. Okay. 
and then I'm running the A10 Mini Pro ISO. Okay, because the ISO is the most expensive one, but I'm going to be doing a lot of program material, course material on this, so I can record all three or four cameras at once and go back and edit them. That's why I purchased this. I, I, I really think if you're not gonna do that, the, you don't need this A10 Mini Pro ISO thing because you could just use a couple webcams on your OBS. OBS is really the, the fastest, easiest, best thing to stream. Now this A10 Mini Pro, it does stream, so it has a stream button on it. But the thing is, is I don't, I'm not gonna use that right now. I'm using, I'm using my engine in OBS because OBS engine has just been super, super powerful for me. It, it has worked really, really well. Okay, so I'm, I'll, I'll maybe do that, but what I'm gonna do is the ATEM Mini will, will record all of the tracks of the cameras all at once. It'll give me a, a DaVinci Resolve file and I'll be able to go in there and edit it. But OBS is really the engine that is streaming to the internet and I've got it tweaked out really, really nice right now. There should be uh, almost no latency, uh, if any. I mean, it's just the little tweaks that I've made. And then in OBS, check out this OBS thing. So basically, you can put your iPhone as one of the as a, as one of the cameras, and that's what I've done now. Okay, and then you can uh, basically, when I showed you that little on air, there's a little on air button you can put on there. I'm gonna move this down here. You can we can put a on air thing. You can do uh, planes. You can put little boxes up here. You can put on on air thing. I just need to get these above here. So you can put on air down on the bottom. So you got a little thing you can put on there. Uh, I've got my little donate button that I that I use. You can put that on there as well. And so everything is sort of in I I um, in OBS. Okay. You can see that the audio is coming in through the ATEM uh, ATEM Mini, and it's just really simple 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 setup. Okay. Uh, and actually in this this right here is you just turn the audio off on your phone when you want to do this, okay? Now you want to go back to the ATEM, uh, you get rid of the, we can get rid of the phone here and it'll go right back to the program material of the switcher. So now I have, uh, one thing I really like about the switcher and the other thing I can see now as I've, I've, as I've already purchased it and I'm working with it, the switcher does all of the work. So it takes all of these cameras and it does all the processing. So it gets really hot, but it's processing. So my computer literally is just seeing one web camera. So it's not gonna freak out. So you can have an older computer, you can, you're not gonna use your computer. A lot of people seem worried about the computer uh, power. And yeah, if you plugged like four or five cameras into your computer or four or five webcams, which is what I was thinking about doing, then your computer has to like do all of those. This, is, this sees this A10 Mini as one webcam. It goes right in here, USB, it sees it as one webcam. So all of these cameras right here, it see in that screen share, it sees that all as one input. So it's, it's actually brilliant for streaming. You could have thousands of dollars worth of cameras with high-end stuff going into this and your, your computer would just see it as one webcam. Beyond that, with the Mini Pro ISO, it records all those cameras. So you can record every camera all at once onto a hard drive, which I'll add onto here when I'm ready to do my stuff that I'm recording. Right now I'm just live streaming, so I don't need to record. Um, and I don't record on OBS at the same time either because I just don't want to use up too much computer power. My streams are really solid. Uh, the quality is, seems very good, so I'm not going to mess with it. And then if I want to switch over like that, it's, it's, as, it's as simple as just talking to you and chilling out. And then you just reach down and push a button. I've got another angle. Or if I say, hey, go to this website where you can find all the gear and anything you buy off here will help support the channel. So if you go down on this website, you can scroll all the way down to live streaming and recording. I talk about what mics I have. I talk about uh, all my studio setup, my cameras. Um, and then also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel because I actually have a bunch of videos on there showing you my mics. And as I'm releasing one about every single day, uh, I show you all how to do this kind of cool stuff if you want to do it. Now my channel is mostly about worship music and leadership and we're doing worship leadership uh, seminar this coming in October, November. So I'm going to be doing a lot of it, but I'll do it right here from this little area where I can control everything. If I wanted to pull out a guitar right now, and play a song, I could have it all plugged in and just do it. It would sound studio quality. No more jinky jinky guitars, it would sound studio quality. So, do you have any questions? I gotta figure out which camera it is. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. That actually helps too, just ask your question. It can even be something simple like, how do you make chocolate chip cookies without a recipe? I mean, it doesn't have to be anything about this. 
Just ask me something. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Hopefully this helped you get the idea of setting up the A10 Mini Pro. It took a lot of cables. I'm not kidding. There are cables everywhere, okay? They're everywhere. It's, it's, it's crazy how much stuff I had to set up to do this. I've got the mon little monitor hooked into the thing there. I've got the big monitor over there. I've got my computer here hooked up to the ATEM, hooked up to the this thing. I mean, and then I've got the lights set up over there, coming back off the thing, the lights up there, the light over there, and then back here, nothing really going on back here. It's very clean. So if you look at if you look at my shot here, you're not going to see all that mess and all that stuff, all the wires taped down. You're going to see just a clean shot from every angle. You're going to see a clean shot. And from this angle, you're going to see a clean shot. God bless you guys. I'll see you on the next stream.